Good morning students. In the last sessions, you have learnt what is a resource and types of resources. Anything found in our surroundings that satisfy our need is called a resource. We have three types of resources. They are natural resources, human made resources or cultural resources human resources these natural resources are gifted by the nature like air water land etc these cultural resources are made by humans examples roads railway lines buildings etc who are nothing but talented and knowledgeable people like scientists doctors and engineers we have also seen different subtypes under each type of resources in this session you would learn about conservation of resources what is conservation you know that we have plenty of resources found in our surroundings some of them are water air rocks plants minerals and animals these are considered as gifts of nature to human beings at present the availability of certain resources like air water plants is being decreased due to the increase of technology through the discharged waste and smoke from the industries air and water gets polluted to get wood in order to make furniture the forests are being cut down so to preserve them we must conserve resources conserving means to protect something from harm here we have to protect our resources from depletion thus using resources carefully and giving them time to get renewed is called resource conservation along with the resource conservation we must also maintain sustainable development what is sustainable development sustainable development means carefully utilizing resources so that besides meeting the requirement of the present also takes care of future generations as we already know natural resources are two types renewable resources and non renewable resources if there is no proper conservation of resources then even renewable resources can become scarce and the non renewable ones can definitely get exhausted for example water water is an unlimited renewable resource but at present many parts of the world are facing shortage of water and drying up of water resources to minimize this problem we must use water in a proper way wastage of water should be avoided if we overuse water then at one point of time water would become very scarce and if we take one more example that is coal coal is an example of non renewable resource it takes some millions of years to get renewed or replenished once if it is exhausted so we must be very careful and wise in using resources 
to satisfy our needs and also for future generations. So, to lead a comfortable and happy life, there must be proper conservation of resources. When there is no proper conservation of resources, it not only affects human beings, but also our environment. To save our environment, we should follow the principle of three R's. They are reduce, reuse and recycle. These three R's is a magical principle which could make our lives happier. The first one is reduce. When we go to supermarket, instead of buying the disposable bags, we can carry our own bags to hold the things. In this way, we can reduce the amount of plastics which is very contaminating. And another example that instead of taking numerous printouts of documents, televisions and computers on when we are not using them. If we remember this, we can reduce the amount of paper being used and as well as energy. It in turn helps us to reduce contamination. These are few examples to reduce the unnecessary waste. And the second R is Recycle. It is easy to recycle things so that it can be reused. We can find the recycling stations and containers for cans, plastics, paper or organic waste near our home. By using them, we can avoid contaminating nature of rivers, seas as well of the atmosphere. And finally, we have the third R, that is reuse. We can reuse many things instead of throwing them away. A piece of paper, a plastic bottle, with a little bit of imagination, we can create new uses for them. So, by following these three R's, we can conserve our resources. And if we apply these R's rule, we can make our Earth a cleaner planet with less contamination and where we can enjoy a better life. I hope you will try this and start conserving resources. Let us all start this together and save our beautiful earth. In the next session, we will discuss about the methods of conservation of resources in detail. Thank you.